Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I'm going to share with you what I think is the Tinkercad version of 2D to 3D conversion. Now, I've shown you guys how to do this in the past with OpenSCAD and require some coding, things like that. But if you're not into coding and that kind of stuff, how do you do it? Well, this is how you do it. Uh, Silva 3D is a web-based application, very much like Tinkercad, that you can bring an image into and extrude it to be a 3D object. So now one of the things I wanted to mess around a little bit and do is with some Evil Eye artwork. So what I did is I went in on Wikimedia, I found uh, this image, and then what I did is I downloaded it and used a, a photographic editing program or photo editor program to edit out the text here and then what I did is I took it into Tinkercad here and uh, you know just converted it into a regular PNG cleaned it up as you see here and then what I did is saved it out now in Silva what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply go ahead and I'm going to open it up and we're going to go ahead and we're going to open up the image and as you can see I have it here so I'm going to go ahead and open it it's going to import the image now you can also drag and drop the image on the little icon or cloud icon up there uh, you have to get it exact it's a little bit particular about that and now here we go so we've uploaded this and it's done a rendering now a couple things we can do over here we can change the threshold because one of the ways that this works is edge detection this is why for something that's really black and white or more grayscale works very well versus a deep colored object it has a bit more challenges like with a photograph now the other piece is we can also adjust the height here so uh, how tall is the axis you want the transformation to be so, and again, once we export this, since we have it in an STL file format, we can change it to how we want. Now, it does offer you a free download. Don't waste your time. It's junk, uh, unprintable, unusable. Uh, however, for 10 bucks, you can buy 10 credits and basically then becomes one credit per download, which is pretty reasonable for, you know, if you need it. So again, you know, when I want something quick and dirty, I just do it in, in OpenSCAD, but if I want something really nice I actually do it in this because this has really good edge detection so I've already downloaded this uh, rendering and I've got it in Tinkercad because one of the things as you can see here I've done is I've added a bit of a base to it and I've uh, extruded these to be be like sizes so I'm gonna print these out about 10 millimeters yeah 10 millimeters I got that right and um, sort of like a piece of desk artwork if you will so it's about 150 a little short 150 tall by you know about 110 wide so I'm going to export this final product as, as a finished STL with this base on it because again I think what I want to allude to here is with uh, uh, Silva 3D the idea is is you extrude something into being a three-dimensional object and then you can bring it into something like Tinkercad, Fusion 360, whichever program is your favorite and then do something with it as a three-dimensional object so that's what I think is really cool about it so again maybe you get a gig for company logo turning it into 3D what have you this works really well so I tell you what let's go ahead let's print this out and then we'll meet back over at the bench and see how it how we did going from a 2D image off of Wikimedia to a 3D piece of printed artwork. I'll get that out there. Let's head over there.
So here we are back at the bench. We took a look at the time lapse and here we have the finished product. So we've gone from a 2D image off the internet to a 3D object that we can now set on our desks and boom, bingo bango, there it is. I think this is actually pretty cool to be able to do some of the things like this. So again, I think this is fantastic, as I've mentioned before, for company logos, um, different pieces of structural type artwork. I can see, um, you know, I think one of the cool things would be maybe like take the Eiffel Tower and do a 2D to 3D extrusion rendering like this. A lot of different cool things that you can create into kind of standalone art. The other thing that you could also do with this is turn this into a clock. Again, um, you know, the world's your oyster when it comes to this. So anyways, hopefully you found it interesting. If you did, hey, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget the swag shop up there and don't forget the subscribe button over there. Hit me up in the comments below if you have some suggestions. Also, what would you use this for? Let me know in the comments below. Um, are there any type of images or something you'd like to see me do with this? Let me know in the comments. Always looking for new ideas from you guys. Cheers and see you in the next video. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.